My working team has decided to configure our SharePoint site to receive email so we can communicate easier. After incoming email has been enabled, team members can send information, messages, and files directly to different areas of the site by using email. For example, a user can send announcements directly to the home page or send documents as email attachments directly to document libraries. I've already installed and started the SMTP service on the computer that runs Windows Server. Office SharePoint Server needs SMTP to receive email. For more information, see Windows Server 2003 Help. Next, I configure incoming email in SharePoint Central Administration. On the Central Administration homepage, I click Operations. Then, under Topology and Services, I click Incoming Email Settings. In Enable Sites on this server to receive email, select Yes. For now, I'll let the server handle email configuration automatically. Next, I go to the Team homepage. I think I'll add email to the Team Discussion page first. On the toolbar, I click Settings and then Discussion Board Settings. Under Communications, I click Incoming Email Settings. I allow this list to receive email messages. And then type a unique address for the email account. Now, when a team member sends a message to this email address, the message will appear in the discussion list. Let's try it. I'll type a test email message and address it to the team discussion list. Then, I send it. I go back to the team discussion homepage, and there is my message. I'll also enable email for announcements and configure our shared documents library to accept email attachments. I can enable email in most other areas of the SharePoint site too, even in the calendar or a blog. By integrating email, I make it easier for my team to communicate while keeping track of discussions and key decisions on our SharePoint site.